have a three-minute overtime period now. Jumping center will be Len Quinn and Brian Ferguson. The tip goes up. Pam Frannick maintains control. The hard read, but a personal foul is called on Brian Ferguson. Reed's free throw is up. And in. Second shot is up. Around the rim, and that goes through two. Two-point lead now for Ham Frannick. Doug Herner with it across the 10-second line. Bounce pass to Davis. He loses control. He's tied up immediately in there. By Dodd Rosinski. And those two will jump it up from the section end of the court. Sexton gets the tip. However, they say that uh, Sexton started the jump too soon, and so I'm trying to play it in for side four. 74 to 72. Two minutes and 50 seconds of play time remaining in this overtime period. Dodd Rosinski with it. He's traveling with that ball in the lane. Sexton will play it off from side court. Not our Frank almost has the ball stolen in for a jump shot. Not a Brian Ferguson. He pops in the corner. It's no good. Tip in is no good. And going high up there is either Brian Ferguson or Bob Davis. I think it was Davis. Tip that one in. All tied up against 74-74. Down to Ashford. On the far side to Reed. He's being checked closely. Back to Ashford. On dribble. Up for a jump shot. Round the rim. No good. Scramble for the rebound. Picked out of there by Dougie Herter. Here we go. Two minutes and seven seconds of playing time remaining. Herner with the ball. Over to Chris Ferguson on the near side. Dribbles around back to Herner at center court. Up for a left-hand pusher from the circle, and he hits. In this overtime session in a real thriller before a capacity crowd, the Class A final. Adab Rosinski, one dribble, up for a jump shot from 10 feet, and he hits. That ties it up again, 76-76. One minute and two seconds of playing time remaining in this overtime period. Bounce pass to Bob Davis on the far side. Into Brian Ferguson. Can't get a shot away. Feeds out to Brother Chris. He goes in. Goes up for a pusher. The basket goes in. The basket counts. And a charging foul is called against Chris Ferguson. Chris Ferguson drove in toward the lane. Went up for a jump shot. He was called for charging, but the shot went in. And that is a good thing, I'll tell you. All right, Art Reed is at the charity toss line. He has to make good on these two. He shot is up. It's off the rim. No good. Gwynn gets the rebound. Goes up and puts it home. Beautiful clutch rebound by Lenny Gwynn. To tie it up at 78 all. Sexton calls timeout now. Out to Barnett. On the near side to Art Frank. 38 seconds of playing time remaining now. Dougie Herner with the ball. On the far side to Davis. And Frank beginning to press a little bit more. Now to Davis. Holds the ball above his head, feeds out to Doug Herner. And Framick is pressing out far enough, so uh, not as to give Sexton that one good shot. Davis goes in, takes the shot, now goes up for it. In and out, no good. Going high on the board to get the rebound. is Art Reed, but he is foul. Boy, that shot went in and then came out. The foul is called on Bob Davis, and Art Reed can now put Ham Framick into the lead. He'll get a one and one. 17 seconds of playing time remaining. All right, let's see what Reed does. He misses his other free throw. Goes up and he scores on the first one. That puts him in the lead, 79 to 78. He'll get one more of the bonus attempt. Second shot by Reed is up. That's short. Scramble for the rebound. Tip is no good. Fight off in there by Art Frank. They're going to have to get this shot away fast. Barnett fast up the court. He comes. Holds the ball. Time is running out. Seven seconds of playing time. Into Bob Davis, he goes up for a jumper. Round the rim, and in! And the Weber fouls, and Sexton wins the ball game! 